Jacobs, I'm co-founder of PALT. Uh, PALT wants to revolution, revolutionize the way that people are interacting with the TV sets and their content. Why would we like to do that? Because the TV experience is broken. So we all would like to watch our personal content on any screen, at any time, in any location. But this is actually what TV offers us. It acts like a small dictator, so it offers us a very rigid programming. Uh, it ties us to one physical location, which is uh, where a setup box is. There is no personal content that we all know the horrors which are related to getting you know, anything from the web on a TV screen. So we have found a way to solve this problem. We are all carrying a device that can actually act as a connection provider, as an identity carrier, and as a remote control. And this is your cell phone. So basically anything that is streamable over the IP networks can be sent to a connected TV screen using that technology. Uh, so, in essence, we are like a boxy, but without the box, or like air tunes for the web. Uh, the product is very simple. Uh, today, it's already up there, so you can all go and test it. So, you have to go to Palto.io. You have to take your screens browser to Palto.io and your smartphone browser there. Uh, there are seven cloud-based services right now. It takes only 20 seconds to set up, and it's completely secure. So you can do it on any screen, and at the time you're breaking the connection with the screen, nothing is left on the screen side, so no passwords, no login details, nothing. Uh, and we would like to change the consumption for the full family. So if, if you look at the average family then, uh, everybody in a family has different interests, they have uh, different uh, habits for watching and consuming the content, and they also have at least slightly different social servers. So, uh, Today, television tries to cater for everybody and uh, not really satisfying anybody completely. So we would like to change that. So we would like to give you a personal TV guide or personal TV programming, which would actually uh, mix live TV with your social content and with your personal content from the web. So the TV will be never boring again. So you, you, you won't be having you know, some of the shows you, you can watch, but you will have a full list of 100% good content. So the team uh, of four, uh, we, are, we are all having more than 10 years of background in tech or media industry, uh, as well as in telco, so we know how to do these things, and we have dealt with similar things as well. Uh, about the market size, there are already 400 million screens that can be streamed to. And in the next 18 months, 300 million screens will be added to that pool. But the most important number is this quarter of trillion US dollar pay TV market, which we would like to disrupt. Uh, our, our roadmap is very simple. So if this is a uh, remote control for a TV set right now, and the, some of them might have a web button on them. So, we hope that in one year, we will have a remote control with pop button on it. And in three years, there's going to be a remote control which has only on and off button on it. And if you push it, then this is what you will see. And this is a bolt screen. Uh, it's actually taken live in Best Buy of San Francisco uh, a few months ago. Uh, we were taking, literally taking over the screens that were on display there, and streaming our content to these screens. Uh, so in order to show you that all of this works, there's actually a small video. So I, I know that it's hard to do a live demo, but this is, this is the next best thing. Uh, here you see the, uh, the code was entered on the, on the cell phone, and now actually the user, this is me by the way, He's, uh, he's starting to stream his own personal content from YouTube to that screen. So in order to do that, these two devices don't even, be to, uh, don't even have to be on the same network. So basically it works uh, on any network, um, and it's very easy to set up. So thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, so, you said that uh, it's actually a working service already. 
Yes, it is. You can test it. All, yeah. all the people can test it. Uh, absolutely. We, we ourselves we still consider it being a prototype. Mm -hmm. So uh, don't necessarily think that this is all that there is going to be. So there is a much, much more is going to be added. Uh, a social layer is uh, completely missing today. Uh, but yes, if you go to pulp.io, you can start testing this. Okay. And what do you miss for the moment? Oh, we miss a lot. So. Uh, Obviously, we would like to have a commercial content in there, so this means TV programming. We're missing that. So we're talking to uh, several large providers in the US, uh, and actually one in Poland as well, <laughs> um, in order to uh, start a pilot with at least one of them. Uh, and we basically agreed with uh, Estonia National Broadcasting to get their content in there, but this is just for testing purposes, so we could learn how this would work. So this is, this is the big part we're missing, and obviously, as I said, that there is, from the interface point of view, uh, a lot of things are missing. The social layer is missing, which actually would give you these uh, uh, recommendations for what, what you should watch. So uh, I think that we have still roughly six months of development ahead of us in order to get there. Uh, but yes, the prototype is there, you can play with it already. Okay, questions from the audience or comments? There was so much noise about your application uh, here in Estonia. Uh, I thought you moved to San Francisco already a long time ago. Uh, <laughs> thing is, uh, why do you pitch here? Uh, the yeah, but, <laughs> yeah, but I, I, thought, I thought that this, this question would come up. <laughs> so, uh, to be honest, uh, uh, I don't have a good answer because I, actually I was I was uh, uh, hearing the presentations during the day, and as, as I was signing up, then I thought, oh, there is a pitch competition, so why not to participate? So, and as 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 you remember from the day, what Angela Pata said, you never know where the, 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 the this important connection could be. So, I was already there. So that's I, I that's thought good. that this is a waste thing to do. Okay, any other comments or questions? So, uh, who of you know someone who could be useful for others? Okay, there are two. Oh, cool. You see, uh, uh, VC zone hand uh, was uh, Janina was uh, yeah raising hand, and who else? Yeah, back there. Okay, thank you. Uh, any more questions? Uh, is there any? I got one question. Yeah. Okay. Good. If you live in Finland, does this mean you don't have to pay a TV permit anymore? Good question. Uh, I guess the answer is yes, but but I but this this is this this legal question is a little bit uh, out of my competence today. But uh, I, I'm not, you, you shouldn't pay the TV license license fee for 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 web programming, right? So, and I'm, I'm not sure how they charge in, uh, in Finland for the television sets. So basically, it's, 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 it's the fee that is, you're paying per television set, right? And let, uh, just if, if, yeah. if, I, if I can have one minute more. Uh, uh, the interesting thing, uh, what we see and what we think that where the future will lead is that you won't have any television sets in the future. You would have nice looking screens and the only, uh, only thing that these screens will do is they would connect to internet. So, and this, and this is, I'm not sure whether this can be classified as television set anymore. But this, this is actually where the future of the TV is. So, and we are aiming for that future. Talk to Ikea. Talk to Ikea. <laughs> Good suggestion. Okay, thank you, Andrew. Thank you.